Israel's Prime Minister, Naftali Bennett, said on Tuesday evening that Israel would deploy a laser air defense system to protect against rockets and UAVs. The important part is that it will be deployed within the year, which is far faster than what the officials have said in the past. PM Bennett said at the Institute for National Security Studies annual international conference in Tel Aviv, initially as a trial, afterward operationally. This development has significant geopolitical ramifications. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Israel is planning to surround itself with a wall of lasers. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. Mr. Bennett said the system would first be deployed in the south, where Israeli towns have seen most attacks originating from the Gaza Strip. Eventually, he said, Israel will be surrounded by a laser wall that protects us from rockets, missiles, UAVs. Bennett stressed that the system's most important contribution would be to change the current reality in which Hamas can fire inexpensive rockets that Israel intercepts with missiles, costing tens of thousands of dollars. He said, they will waste a lot of money and we very little. Mr. Bennett also indicated that Israel would seek to sell the technology abroad. He added, the new generation of Israeli air defense will also be able to serve our friends in the region this can be interpreted in the context of Iran-backed Houthis firing a missile at the United Arab Emirates while President Isaac Herzog was visiting. Israel has a multi-layered air defense system designed to tackle a variety of different threats. This includes Iron Dome, designed to knock down unguided rockets, mortars, artillery, David Sling and the U.S.-built Patriot to counter threats like aircraft and cruise missiles, Arrow 2 to counter short to medium-range ballistic missiles, and Arrow 3 to take out medium and intermediate-range weapons. Arrow 4 is being developed to neutralize ICBMs and advanced threats, including hypersonic weapons. All these systems use interceptor rockets to knock out incoming projectiles. This makes them economically unviable in case of mass attack, since the incoming projectiles could be very cheap, whereas the interceptors are very costly. For example, each Tamir interceptor used by Iron Dome has a reported cost of $100,000 to $150,000, while the rockets flung by Hamas militants will be a fraction of this cost. Last year, Hamas had launched a massive onslaught with more than 1,000 rockets designed to saturate the Iron Dome system. While Iron Dome held its own, even at that time, it came at a great cost. Israel had to request a billion dollars in aid from the U.S. to replenish the Iron Dome batteries that were used to protect Israel in the 11-day conflict. The technology of unguided small rockets, cruise missiles, and drones has proliferated in the last four to five years. Israel is at the crosshair of Iran, which has made significant progress in this field and has transferred the technologies to its proxies. Israel's most immediate adversaries, the non-state actors like Hamas and Hezbollah, 
have made considerable strides in this area. The initial plan for deployment of the laser weapon system was by 2024, but the military has pushed it earlier, driven by concerns that in a future conflict, the military would not have sufficient interceptor missiles for the Iron Dome and other air defense systems to shoot down the incoming rockets, missiles, and drones. Viewers may note that the Israeli Defense Ministry has been testing the laser-based defense system for several years. Last year, it successfully intercepted multiple drones during a test of an airborne, high-power laser weapon. The demonstration was carried out by the Israeli Air Force's Yanat Missile Test Unit, Israel's Directorate of Defense Research and Development DDR&D, and Israel Defense Contractor Albert Systems. Videos posted online show the laser system is deployed on a Cessna 208 caravan behind a windowed panel on the left side of the aircraft's rear fuselage. While very little technical data regarding the system has been released, DDR&D's Head of Research and Development, Brigadier General Yeniv Rotem, stated that the system successfully intercepted drones at a range of more than one kilometer or 0.62 miles. Iron Dome is considered to be the most used air defense system. According to Israel, it's been used to intercept targets with a greater than 90% success rate since it was deployed in 2011. But as explained, it has its limitations. Laser weapons don't need to carry interceptors, and hence they'll be able to take out a much larger number of threats constrained only by the power supply limit of the platform. If fitted to an airborne platform, their effectiveness will be increased many-fold as, unlike ground-based systems, they won't be restricted by the curvature of the Earth and have a far longer line of sight. The cost, obviously, will be much lesser compared to traditional weapons, and this actually tilts the dynamics of battle in favor of Israel. If successful, this will usher in a new reality of the enemies of Israel. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.